it's April and I'm getting ready. It's a rainy day and I'm getting ready to go see clients. And I want to talk to you a little bit about yesterday's clients and the two times I've seen somebody in the active stages of dying who um, needed to put a plan in place while, well, I guess it's happened three times now. Uh, the first one I uh, met with a woman whose husband was in the other room. Um, she was uh, doing her very, very best to keep him at home and make sure that he was comfortable and that he could pass uh, with her uh, because they loved each other so and had done everything together and she was not going to leave him and uh, or leave him in the care of someone else. And so hospice was coming to her home every day. Uh, passing on instructions about how she gave him uh, the medicine that he needed uh, to keep him comfortable and we sat at her kitchen table and made plans uh, for when he would pass and um, laughed some and she told me the stories of how they got together and their love affair and their working life and what was important. She's a young woman uh, with a whole lot of life ahead of her without him now. That was the first time I was actually called um, after uh, her husband died. She called me. Uh, she'd given him his last morphine shot at 3 in the morning and it was um, 6 when she called me uh, to say it was too early for her to call anyone else and she wanted she wondered if I wouldn't come by, and I had promised her that I would do whatever she needed, uh, as I do for people uh, who are my clients and um, uh, people I get to be the counselor for around death education and uh, uh, grief and loss and, and the rest. So she called and I got to come, and uh, together uh, we called hospice, and hospice came and pronounced medical death and then the hospice nurse invited us to prepare the body and so we got to clean him and see him and say goodbye to him before uh, we called Trident, my folks, and um, our, our team happened to be a, a husband and wife who worked together uh, and they arrived and she just, my client thought that was just perfect because she and her husband had uh, had worked so closely together and there they were uh, doing this most incredible uh, and in very important work for families um, first recognizing that they've lost their person um, and we watched they were very respectful gave her the opportunity to leave the room or see what they were doing told her just exactly how they were going to move him from the bed where he had passed onto the gurney that they'd brought with them and cover his body and uh, strap him to the gurney and uh, take him through the house and down the stairs and into the back of a white van. It's not a hearse or a horse and buggy or um, or an emergency vehicle sirened and, and named. It's, it's a discreet white van that comes uh, in that moment of need. So that was the first complete process I got to witness um, uh, because my client invited me to and yesterday um, well yesterday I was with a man who had loved his wife all their lives and he with his almost blindness and his kind of thick glasses was bending over the paperwork uh, to scribble where I pointed um, for signing his name to purchase the plan for his wife and his wife called to us in the middle of uh, that transactional paperwork and I got to meet her and smile at her. She asked me what we were laughing about and I said I was just smiling and greeting but she's dying. She's crumpled and in a fetal position and skin and bones and not much more uh, and sunken beautiful blue eyes looking with such clarity into my own and uh, there's no time for nonsense at that point. And uh, 
it's not the best time for paperwork and this sort of arrangement, but it is a precious thing, uh, a powerful piece of work to look into the eyes of someone who's on their way to wherever it is we go on the other side of life. Anyway, I'm headed out to do it today. It's Saturday, it's a rainy day, and someone has called me to go and see them, but I wanted to tell you this story, to see someone passing, to see someone who has just passed. It sure makes you celebrate every breath and treasure every moment and live your precious life. My name is Beth Benson. I work for Trident Society. I'm a counselor. These are my true stories of a death education counselor or true the life of a death saleswoman. Or I don't know what this title of this uh, talking to you series is. But anyway, happy Saturday. Happy rainy Saturday. Find somebody you love and spend the day with them. Let them know. Thank you.